Let's take a look at the light bulbs glow up from the arc lamp to LEDs. Arc lamp, Humphrey Davy is believed to have invented the first electric light in 1802, a device called the electric arc lamp. The arc lamp generated an electric spark in the air between two carbon rods. The rod would vaporize at a high temperature of 3,600 degrees Celsius and ionize the carbon vapor. An electron exchange then takes place between the ions in the air and the carbon vapor, and the electric current passes between the electrodes. The trouble with the arc lamp is if the gap between your carbon rods is too large, the spark between them flickers and dies. Incandescent bulb, luminous efficacy equals 10 to 17 lumens per watt, average lifespan equals 1000 hours, over the next 70 years, more and more inventors created light devices and light bulbs, with varying degrees of success. One major technological advance occurred in 1840 when Warren de la Rue, a British scientist, put a coiled platinum filament inside a sealed vacuum tube and attached it to an electric current. The heating filament inside of this light bulb is responsible for its light emissions. This version of the light bulb was expensive to make and didn't last very long. So inventors set out to make improvement. Incandescent Bulb 2.0 In 1874, Henry Woodward, a medical electrician, and his colleague, Matthew Evans, were never able to make their lamps a commercial success, however, and they decided to sell their patent to Thomas Edison in 1879. On October 14 of that year, he filed his first application for a patent for improvement in electric lights. He was struggling with the metal filament material, however, and he kept trying different materials to improve on the filament from his original design. On November 4, 1879, Edison filed for another U.S. patent. This opened the door to the commercial production of light bulbs that could actually be used in practical application. Thomas Edison's company, the Edison Electric Light Company, opened in 1880. The General Electric Company patented a method of manufacturing filaments made of tungsten for incandescent light bulbs in 1906. William David Coolidge, working for the company in 1910 found a way to make the filaments last even longer through an improved manufacturing process. The 1920s and 1930s saw the arrival of specialty light bulbs. Frosted light bulbs and bulbs with adjustable power for use in neon lighting and car headlights came out in the 20s, while the fluorescent tanning lamp and the creation of photographic flashbulbs came in the 30s. Further refinements came in the 1940s and 1950s with the creation of soft light incandescent light bulbs, quartz glass bulbs and halogen light bulbs. From the 1960s on, improvements to the light bulb were all about performance. In the 60s and 70s, bulbs become brighter thanks to better mirrors and ellipsoid reflectors. The 80s brought low-wattage metal halides. The 90s saw some of the biggest innovation in 90 years, starting with the magnetic induction light bulb, with an amazing life expectancy of 60,000 hours or more, environmental advancements like the compact fluorescent and full-spectrum light bulbs also pushed the technology forward. Compact fluorescent lights, CFLs, luminous efficacy. 4070 lumens watt, average lifespan. 6,000-15,000 hours, CFLs are brighter and require 25% less energy than halogen bulbs. In these bulbs, the current passes through a bent tube that contains argon and a traceable amount of mercury vapor. The tube is coated with phosphor, so when an electric current passes through the gases an ultraviolet light is produced. This light stimulates the phosphor, which then emits the bright white light. Inventors discovered that if they changed the color of the tubing inside of the bulb, the color of the light would change. And thus, colored light bulbs were created. However, inventors were on a quest to make the most energy-efficient bulb possible, which brings us to our final bulb. Light-emitting diodes, LEDs, luminous efficacy. 7100 lumens watt average lifespan. 50,000 hours or more LEDs last longer because they don't use filaments, which burn out and break over time. These bulbs are a form of solid-state lighting, they use a semiconductor to convert electricity into light in a very small area. They emit light in a specific diction, so reflectors and diffusers that normally trap light are needed less than LEDs counterparts. They typically have the highest price of your bulb options, but save up to 80% of the energy used in other bulbs. LEDs also have an extremely small heat footprint, so they can reduce your air conditioning costs. Now there are several choices of light bulbs available, from incandescent to fluorescent to LED. For more videos, subscribe.